so we talked about soil earlier and we talked about the community, community soil, community being a type of soil. So when you begin to plant the garden, it illustrates the importance of helping others. So you're working alongside a community. You're not going in to teach people how to garden. Again, you're facilitating. So you're creating a space. You're being a resource. You're gardening, yes, but you're also cultivating a space for a community to learn from each other. Any excuse to get people just interacting with a common context. I mean, that's a great thing about gardening, right? Yeah, Is I mean, absolutely. there's just so much to talk about, you know? And then it's also a commitment to providing a portion of the food to the community. So when you're planting, you're thinking about the types of foods and how the food is going to be used in the community. And that's how you seed your approach. So we're using gardening to, to help communities organize and develop education efforts. And because I'm an intense gardener myself, my grandmother was a farmer, I'm from Haiti, and I, I remember my connection to the earth, and it was always a healing place for me. And I felt that the children needed a healing place because of all the trauma that they're suffering in the city that are not accounted for, that impact their behavior, and also that also impact the learning ability, their attention span. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided uh, a little pilot project on my own where I, I uh, used my own money to, I bought seeds and I, and I bought cups and, uh, and little sticks for them to, to label the seeds and I created lessons around that for them and how they can be inspired by the ability of a seed to survive no matter what. If they have to go crooked to get the sun, if they have to go under and reappear to get the water, if they're stepped on, they'll grow flat. It's just, it's so inspiring. There's so much learning that can really empower those children if they can see the tenacity of the dandelion. That was my lesson. Gardens can be used as metaphors to build partnerships between youth and adults. And so a garden is a great place to bring in two generations of people to talk about building community.